Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm the librarian for Urban and Public Affairs at Portland State University Library. I know that in your class, our um, community, our health, that you talk a lot about careers. And so I thought it might be fun or interesting for you to hear about my career path in terms of becoming a librarian. You may not have considered being a librarian, especially with a degree um, in health studies or studying public health, but it is actually something that you can do. So I want to introduce myself a little bit more of my background with some objects. Um, the first one I want to show you is a keychain that I have. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a cow and the state of Oklahoma and a tornado. Um, I grew up in Oklahoma and then I um, moved to Oregon to go to college. And um, when I was in college, I studied German, German literature. Um, and then um, I didn't really know what to do with myself after that, so I um, started volunteering for AmeriCorps. Uh, I was a VISTA with AmeriCorps. And you may not have heard of AmeriCorps before, but it's a program, it's like the, the National Peace Corps where volunteers work um, a certain number of hours or dedicate a whole year to serve a community. And what I did is I worked with um, the SMART Book and Reading Program. And the SMART Book and Reading Program is here in Oregon, in the great state of Oregon behind me, um, that matches student readers with adult volunteers that they instill a love of reading in the schools. So volunteers and students read together. Um, and those students participate and get to take home um, free books once a month. This is my very favorite book of all time. <laughs> so, um, when I was in AmeriCorps, I ended up for a few months volunteering as an intern with the Multnomah County Public Library as well. And there I had um, a, a supervisor who encouraged me to go to library school or at least investigate going to library school. And one of the things that got me interested in going to library school was her mentorship, but also as an intern there, I attended a training called Intellectual Freedom 101, which they do for all new employees. And at that training, I learned about the ethos or the way that librarians think and approach their work. At the time, the public library here in Portland, Multnomah County Library, was a part of a class action lawsuit against the federal government. And the testimony that they were giving along with the ACLU against the government was because of the USA Patriot Act and the provisions in the USA Patriot Act that um, meant librarians and libraries could be asked to provide information about their patrons without patrons knowing as part of a surveillance paradigm. And um, that's against the library or librarian ethos. We, pre we protect privacy. And the other thing about that provision is that it meant that libraries, when they did hand over data, so it'd be like the history of checking out books, etc. Now think of anybody who's interested in anything that would be considered radical, right? Um, librarians were not allowed to tell anybody that they had been asked. Um, to provide this information. So it goes against the ethos of librarianship. And, and seeing that, I think, really inspired me to want to become a librarian. So I went to library school, and that's a graduate program. It's a master's degree. While I was there, I also got a second master's degree, and that was in information science, and that was much more theoretically based. But it's the master of library science that allows me to do my work. And after that, I moved back to, to Portland, and one of the first jobs I had was at OHSU, where I worked for three years as a medical librarian. And then after that, I came here to Portland State, and I've been in this job about six years now. One of the things I love about um, libraries is that I feel like it's, it, it enables social justice work, because I feel like having access to information and helping students think critically about information is one of the most important things we can do to have a democratic society. And also so that we can help, oh, there's my kitty cat, this is Harvey. Say hi, say hi Harvey, say hi. Okay, down with you. It's one of the most important things that we can do um, in our career. So um, I have used some knowledge that if you study public health may have um, been helpful. One of the things that I did at OHSU was working with um, people who sent in 
letters um, paper letters for asking for some health information or help so that consumer health part a lot of the letters came from inmates here in Portland in Portland but also in Oregon and if you think about it inmates don't really have a lot of support I would get letters from inmates who had been in the hospital who didn't know what their medications did for them they didn't know they didn't understand what their condition or their disease and so I did my best to provide unbiased information but also health information in a way that those inmates could understand and digest because no one had spoken with that person about um, their condition so that's one of the medical ways that you could be engaging in community so the final thing that I want to show you is one of my favorite birthday presents I ever had from my good friend Lori this is a t-shirt it's knowledge with a raised fist book power and um that really is why i'm a li i'm a librarian so good luck to you in thinking about your careers and if you would like to chat with me about any of this i'd be happy to do so over email or a hangout so let me know bye